Hey, remember a few weeks ago when I made this? It's a gravity-fed ceramic water filter. And the video has been wildly popular. Already it's up to around 250,000 views. And with those 250,000 views comes a constant stream of comments and questions. Many of those comments are following the same lines. So I've picked the top four comments that people have been making about this water filter. And I'm going to just give a little rehash of certain details of this water filter. Firstly, the most common comment that I've been getting is that terracotta has heavy metals and lead in it. Well, lead is a heavy metal, so it doesn't have heavy metals and lead. And it's only terracotta from one region, Pakistan, that has heavy metals in it. Italian terracotta is renowned as being the world's best and is completely approved for oven to table wear. So seeing as it's approved to oven, oven to table wear and even the lid and every, every, every component is made in Italy, I'm hoping that this is heavy metal free terracotta. The next really common comment is why have you got that wooden bung in the bottom of your flower pot? Well, the reason is, if you don't have a bung in the bottom of your flower pot, the water's going to go straight through. So something has to be put in this hole to stop the water going straight through. Because I made this thing on the spur of the moment, and in my little town I couldn't buy a cork, I made a wooden plug. And of course, I wasn't going to make a wooden plug out of a piece of lumber from a lumber yard, which could quite possibly tr be treated. So I whittled it from a tree branch that grew here on my own property. And because I've got Lawson Cypress, I decided to use that. Because Lawson Cypress has a sap which is well known for its microbiologic, for its antimicrobial properties. Simple as that. The next thing that people are commenting on is Ugh, plastic. Yeah, I agree. Ugh, plastic. I would have used stainless steel if I could have found a container at the right price in the right size. But I couldn't in my little town. If you look around, you might find something in stainless steel or even glass that's just perfect. But there's plastics and then there's plastics. Polypropylene is a food grade, fully approved plastic. This is clearly marked underneath as being polypropylene, as I showed in the original video. And um, polypropylene is used for water pipes, water tanks, even medicine bottles. You know the little sipper valve on the top of a water bottle? That's made out of polypropylene. It's a food safe plastic. And finally, the other comment that people have been making is how long does it last and can you clean it? Yeah, that's the whole idea of it. You can keep cleaning this thing. What I do is about once a month I'll take this out, wash it with hot water and baking soda or sometimes vinegar and I use a natural fiber scouring pad. Don't use a 3M scotch bright because you'll end up with microplastics in your water. In fact, don't use those things anyway for, for um, in the sink because you're putting microplastics into the wastewater which eventually makes it into the oceans, which makes it into the fish, which we eat, so it comes straight back into us. Think ahead. One of the other comments is collecting rainwater is dangerous, it's full of bird poop and dead animals. Well, maybe in some situations if you have a poorly maintained system and you don't keep your roof clean, but my water doesn't even hit the roof. My water comes straight down into this container, goes through this filter screen and then is drawn off as I need it from the tap at the bottom. Remember, it's only my drinking water. Okay, I use um, water from other sources for showering and washing the car and water blasting, but anything that goes into my body goes through this system. And another point I'd like to make is the water that falls into my rainwater catcher is the same water that falls into the town reservoir, minus all of the chemicals and treatment that they put into it. 
surely that's better. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I'm coming up to 6 million views now, which is really exciting. I started this channel off three years ago knowing that I was going to be not specialising in one thing, and I wondered if it was going to be a success. Well, you guys have proved that it has been a success, and I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, subscribing, commenting, becoming a personal friend. It's been a wild ride, and I'm loving it. So, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why not do it? Keep an eye on what I do here at my little place, and have a look through the back catalogue. Chances are you'll find something that's very useful for you. And keep an eye on what's coming up because there's always something new happening at Tiny House and Off-Grid Resources.